somebody please cue that void? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going in the battle with the bad Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> If you've just joined us, you're late. The mission's in progress. Why did they start before the narrator came on? It's the director's fault. He wants to get home for dinner. Did you used to date that guy before he got married? Yes, we were an item at one time. He said I was the only dog he'd ever gone out with. Are you sure he was referring to your pedigree? Mimi! <gasps> you should never upset the director during the show. That's good advice, especially if he makes you fly through the air with no safety net. Mm-hmm. It just occurred to me. As long as we're up here, we should tell the audience where we're going. Yeah, it'll keep them awake. Let me do it. We've been summoned to the palace by Big Al Dente. Since today's the anniversary of the formation of the Pizza Cats, we figure he wants to throw a big party in our honor. Either that or he's gonna yell at us for messing up so much. This can't go on. That's it, you get it? Mm. Yes, it can't go on. Right. Mm. If it happens again, heads will roll, do you understand? Yes, sir. What are we talking about? We're talking about your record of defeat at the hands of the pizza cat. It's gone full. You haven't had one success. Yo. Fortunately, I have another plan. The pizza cats can't last forever. I'm sure in the future some powerful weapon will be built that we can use to kick these goody two paws out of the palace and onto their tails. I'm sure you're right about that, Cheesy. Of course, by then we'll both be quite old. No. Did I say something wrong? You no. fool, did you forget we've no. been working on a time no. machine? We'll just go into the future and bring back a weapon to use today. Sure, I forgot about that. It's a brilliant plan, but is the machine ready? Of course you did. Would allow me to present the Time Master, the latest invention from Big Cheese Laboratories in association with Ninja Robotics. My time is your time. That's right, good for you. <laughs> good morning, my lord. Time Master is at your disposal. It's been programmed to take you as far into the past or future as you wish. I don't get it. Don't these machines usually have a place where you can sit or stand? That's the beauty of this model. You just have to be in the vicinity. Okay, Time Master, let's go a hundred years into the future. Right, I've got time on my hands. <laughs> Is this how it works? I hope not. Uh oh! I think I miscalculated the flight path. Now, huh? uh, what happened? Did one of you insult the director? Well, well. So you thought you could sabotage our <gasps> project, huh? What are you doing here? They must have found some new way to blow us out of the sky. Who's this guy in the hole, and why is he dressed so funny? This guy is my machine. We were about to go to the future when you crashed in like a herd of flying elephants. Now leave us alone. You're going to the future? No way! Well, if you don't believe me, just watch. All right, Time Master, the future won't wait forever, you know. Your right time waits for no man. Besides, time flies when you're having fun. Hey, what's happening here? It's some kind of big claw. The alarm just went off in my head. Wonder what's keeping the pizza cats. They're late. Huh? Whoa! Yeah! 
Wow, that special effect must have cost the producers a fortune. If they're doing that well, maybe I should ask for a raise. Don't wait up for me, Ma. I won't be home till late. Didn't know I sang, did you? Are we there yet? Yeah, we made it to nap time. How can we be in the future? We haven't gone anywhere. Don't yell, I have a headache. Yeah, me too. Huh? Huh? Ah! The palace is just being built. Impossible, it was built 15 years ago. Then we must have gone into the past. Oh, oh boy. But I told him to go to the future. Hmm. The date on this newspaper is 15 years old. You hairballs must have done something to the time machine. He went the wrong way. What? For once in his life, Bad Bird's right. When the pizza cats crashed into Time Master, they jangled the fidget on his hoosie, causing the Winkle Hickey to fail. Uh, where am I going to get a new Winkle Hickey? Take us home right now! Oh. Hey! It just occurred to me, if the time machine malfunctions and Lord Big Cheese never comes back, maybe I'll become the Big Cheese. How would that be? Mm, sounds pretty good to us. Meanwhile, our heroes are facing their problems with their usual courage and self-confidence. I want my mommy. I want to go home. Hmm? What? Look, guys, it's El Dente. Hey! hey. Mm -hmm. You came along just in time. We really didn't know what to do. That's too bad. I don't know what to do either. Who are you and why are you dressed so funny? <gasps> you don't know. Maybe this will refresh your memory. <laughs> I thought our pizza power pole would help. Know who we are now? Huh? <laughs> your criminal's trying to distract me from my duty. <laughs> <laughs> Now, confess. Okay. When I was six, I threw mud at my brother. I love gossip. I don't floss after every meal. You're going to be a big fan of ours in 15 years. What, I am? Yeah, if we survive. <laughs> Sorry, Al, but it's all for the best. Yeah. Those cats are the dirtiest fighters I've ever seen. I wonder if they'd want to work for me. Oh, no. Hey, guys, look who's coming. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. At least that was me 15 years ago. Pretty good looking if I do say so myself. And I still am. <laughs> As I recall, this was an important day in my life. It was the first time I ever met geriatric and became involved with the Ninja Crows. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I woke up that morning, and it occurred to me that I should overthrow the government. I wasn't doing anything else that week, so why not? Then I put on the stupidest outfit I own and took a walk to figure out how I could pull it off. After a while, I looked up and realized I was lost. Then I saw a village that wasn't even on the map. Don't ask me how I knew that, since I didn't even have a map. Anyway, I thought I'd go down and investigate, since the alternative was starving to death in the forest. As I approached the main house, I smelled cooking. I entered without knocking and saw a figure lying on the floor. It was geriatric, crippled by a bad back. With no thought for myself, I rushed to his side to see if I could help. Unfortunately, I tripped, and that led to the fateful encounter. You must be a miracle worker. You cured our master. That's the stupidest outfit I've ever seen. Ever since then, the Ninja Crows have been my personal army of mischief. I was wondering how you recruited those guys. <laughs> okay, where are <laughs> ya? <laughs> up here, <laughs> Big Brain. That was a neat story, Big Cheese. I'm all choked up. Yeah, makes me want to cry, too. What it comes down to is if you hadn't stumbled into that village in the past and gotten the support of the Ninja Crows, we wouldn't be having all this trouble with you in the present, Cheese Brain. Yeah, so what? So, I guess it's our job to keep you from getting to that village. Wait a minute. I remember something now. An ugly girl tried to give me wrong directions that day. That dog face must have been you. <gasps> yeah. Hold on. Don't get your dad. 
Feel better now they took a dive? Mm -hmm. We better move if we plan to change history. <laughs> I'd like to explain what happened during the first half of the show. But I'm so confused, I'm better off keeping my mouth shut. Well, I can tell you what's happened. Mm. We're all stuck here in the past. Uh, we've got to stop them. Those pizza cats are dangerous. I'll try to keep them from interfering. You get to your village in case I miss them. Right! <laughs> Those strange people, Mom. No one you have to worry about for 15 years. Since this is our only appearance in the series, we should do something spiffy. What? I know. I do a great impression of the Emperor. Barret, 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 Barret. Hope oh, I don't grow up like her. Maybe I'm adopted. No such luck. This girl becomes the goofy mother we see all the time. Great, I'll tackle him. No way! Hey, why did you do that? Because I'm the one who's supposed to stop him. Didn't you hear what he said about the ugly girl giving directions? That lets me out. I know just how to do it, too. Well, I'm lost, so I guess one way is just as good as another. Somebody help me! Uh -huh. ah! What are those things? What did they want? They're terrible monsters and they chased me through the forest. I don't think you should go this way. There may be more of them out there. Maybe I should go back the way I came. <laughs> it worked. The Halloween monster trick gets them every time. I can't let them win. I hate to give up this coin, but... <sighs> Somebody dropped a penny. Wow, this is my lucky day. Now I only run if it's more than a dime. All set? Yeah. Here I go. Oh. Oh, it's a miracle. I came through the wishing tube and my back was healed. I can't believe it. I could go through and wish for wealth and power. Well, here goes. Here we go. The turnaround trick gets them every time. <gasps> Where did you come from? Wait. <laughs> what are you doing, old woman? You're pushing me in the wrong direction. I don't have time to explain. This is the right direction. There's a village you just have to visit. Why are you doing this? And who are you? I'm related to you. Don't be ridiculous. I don't believe a word you're saying. We don't have any ugly dog-faced women in our family. <laughs> You better watch your mouth, Buster, or you might lose some teeth. If you don't go, your future's gonna be very bleak. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. That's it, no more tricks. We'll just wait here till the Cheese Brothers come by, and then we'll grab them. How long are we gonna hang out here? Yeah, no one's come by but those geishas. <gasps> it's a trick! Those sleazy cheeses got past us! You're right, we blew it. Ah, my old village. What a sight for sore eyes. It's been a long time since I've been home. <laughs> oh, it's me and Carla! <laughs> Promise you'll marry me when we grow up and that we'll live in the village for the rest of our lives? Sure, because then we can have kids of our own and play with them all day long. Sometimes I think it would have been better if I'd stayed in the village and never gotten hooked up with Big Cheese. <laughs> well, it's too late for regrets. You say you're me 15 years from now and you've come back to the past? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So you understand? More or less, but what is it exactly you want me to do? You have to heal the leader of the Ninja Crows. And if I do that, I'll become the most powerful figure in the country? No problem. 
If I could go back to the past, I'd renegotiate my contract for this series and demand that I get paid. Just make sure those pizza cats don't keep you from carrying out your assignment. We've tried everything we can think of and nothing's worked. I say if it looks like young Big Cheese is gonna make it into the house and plant a big one on geriatric, I'm gonna go ahead and blow him away with one of my love bombs. I don't think so. Whoa! Go on, Polly. Yeah, we'll take care of Birdman. Thanks, boys. Now, which one of us do you want to fight first? This must be the place you've been talking about. Yes, now don't let me down. See you in 15 years. I was afraid it would come to this. Pretty good throw, don't you think? Care of the ninja crows will still be loyal. If we hurry, we'll get back to the present before those pizza cats know we're gone. What? If we can get Time Master working, we'll leave them stuck here in the past and we'll never have to worry about them in the future. What an evil plan! I tell you, Big Cheese will do anything to get his own way. Reminds me of my first wife. All right, I know we left him around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Look at, he's still asleep. And come on, you no know, good bucket of balls. We gotta get back to the future. Sounds like a good title for a movie. Wake up and get to work. I said, wakey, wakey. Okay, okay, time marches on. It's the time of your life. Time out! Uh, you're just about out of time. These are the times the try man. Stop running your mouth and get us out of here. Showtime! Let's get to time save nine! Oh, did we make it? I don't know. Maybe. Look at the palace! It's all built up again! We must be in the present! Or we slept through the construction. Oh, I thought we got rid of those pests. I guess not. That machine is too dangerous to be left in your hands, so we're gonna take matters into our hands. sword must have blown us into the prehistoric past. Huh? <laughs> if I ever get back to the present, I'm gonna turn that time machine into a clock radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cats! Do you like the show? It's the best that we could do. Am I right? It's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. 